<laughs> you can't see her, but mum is also trying to hijack this video. Hello and welcome to another video of festivity. Are you bored of them yet? You better not be, because we're a day away from Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, kids! Yay! Today we're doing an adult festive activity, and that is why I'm over here as well. Hi, welcome to the bar. Welcome to Alice's bar, circuit bar. It's not got a bad ring to it. Today we're making some Christmas cocktails, two of which are just normal cocktails with a Christmassy twist, and the other one, I don't know if anybody else in the world even knows about. We're going to be making three cocktails in this video because any more and I'll probably fall off this chair, which I have done in the past and do not wish to repeat. We are making a peppermint mojito, a gingerbread martini, and a snowball. Points, circuit of all points to anyone who knows what a snowball is without looking that's cheating. We're gonna end with the snowball because I know I like those and I've never done the other two so we're gonna see how good they go. We have an array of things as you can see and three glasses with no ice because I can't be bothered to get up and get the ice. So we're just gonna get going with the first one. Oh, she's not trying anymore, she's going to. Hi, I'm Alice's mum. Welcome to the next video. I'm not making the martini in a martini glass because that would then require me to probably get a cocktail shaker. Also can't be bothered to do that. This is a very lazy Christmas cocktails video. It's a, uh, if you were wanting a Christmas cocktail quickly, are already a little bit tiddled on Christmas and just want to pour things in a glass and drink them. This is how that would turn out. I feel like this should probably have a, it's a martini though, it wouldn't have a face, would it? Huh. All right, we're winging it. Straight gonna wing it. That's how I do these videos. If you don't know that, welcome to the channel. First up, we are making our gingerbread martini, which is vodka, a herbal liqueur, which I didn't know, but that's Jägermeister, a hazelnut liqueur, which is this. That's not English. I don't know what it says, but it says hazelnut, and so did Amazon. And obviously some gingerbread syrup. This is as simple as it gets. So I'm gonna start with vodka, because I think vodka's our base. I don't know why it smells it. That actually smells quite nice in terms of vodka. Okay, let's do 50 millimeters of this. Did it say 50 millimeters of that one or that one? You know how much you want to go on BBC Good Foods and search for a gingerbread martini? <laughs> it's this one. Hazelnut is a 50. I bet it smells like hazelnut. Yeah. Oh, that smells like hazelnut. Okay. Going well. And then our herbal liqueur, which is Jägermeister. Who knew? 25 of this. And then I don't know how much syrup to add. You know I mentioned another video ago that I don't really plan further than the idea and getting the stuff. If this isn't an example of that, I don't know what is. Here comes our first cocktail! <laughs> Probably should have been made in a cocktail shaker. I've got cocktail. I know, but I can't be bothered. That's really Genuinely lazy. can't be bothered. It is very lazy, but here we go. It smells very hazelnutty. Yeah, well... That's just not... Are you happy now? It looks the right colour. The hazelnuts are overpowering everything. Chin chin. It's not awful. That's actually quite nice. It doesn't really, I wouldn't call it gingerbread. It's got a... The, the Jaeger is coming through sharply, but I'm going to call that a circuit the world success. Wait for the general consensus that's been passed around the room. Thoughts? Not for Dad. So thumbs down from Dad. From Mum? Thumbs up from Mum though. Mum has inherited the gingerbread martini. Cocktail number two. Good luck editing, Alice. This one is a peppermint mojito. Should have lime. I don't have lime, but I do have Candy canes. Great. Mum's on the lime juice. Hello, it's Mum again. I'm really sorry, but I'm now going to give some lime juice. 
She just can't resist the camera. You wonder where I get it from, candy cane. Wow. All right, this is, this is our presentation. Now you should be doing it over ice, but as I said, I can't be bothered to get the ice. So this is rum this time. <sighs> the last time I had rum, I really wasn't very well. 50 milliliters of rum in there. This is another nice simple one. These are very simple. I don't know why you'd ever want to make it complex. Like some of the recipes I was looking at were like, oh, do this, make this, add this, sprinkle this, crochet this. And you're like, you know what? No. The recipes are sparkling water, but I don't have any of that. So we have tonic water, slimline. And that too, oh, you're over here. That too's going in here. This is also where you add ice. Lovely. I don't even know what a mojito is. Now I can add some minty syrup to make it peppermint. That might have been a bit much. I'm gonna stir it with candy. That's what it's here for. I have high hopes for this one. Oh! My lime in Blue Peter style. Here's one I made earlier. My lime has been pre... That's lemon. It's lemon. Wow. Smells like lemon. What, all of it, do you reckon? Yeah. Well, it's all in there now. Ta-da! Cocktail number two. Isn't this a great video, guys? Isn't this so entertaining and you're learning so much? It's kind of gone a yellowy color. That's because of the candy cane. The red of the candy cane is dying. So, um, doesn't smell minty. Maybe I didn't go too heavy on the mint. How do you even? That's all kinds of confused. It's like if you had a shop and you decided to leave your toothbrush in it and it gone minty. Funny that, it's a mint flavored drink. I don't know if I like it. Very minty. I do think I went overkill on the mint because it's a little bit overbearing. But aside from the little bit overbearing mint, I'm actually a fan. Probably would have been nicer with ice. I'm a lazy bastard. You know that because you're watching me do this very, very, very lazily. Do you want to try? She's not mad at it. Any thoughts? Good, good. Final verdict on the uh, peppermint mojito. Watch the candy cane. Weird. So from dad it's weird and mum is necking everything I give her. Thanks, off camera hand. Last up, now this one I know I like because this is a staple of mine for the Christmas time. Now this is apparently what you Americans call eggnog. Does eggnog have alcohol in it originally? Or I don't know what eggnog is. Apparently it's this. I don't think that's right. Someone let me know in the comments. You need two things for this. Um, and if you haven't had one of these, go make one because they're very, very nice. It is 50 milliliters of, oh wait, has this been shaken yet? I really shouldn't do things like this on the internet. Ah, Christmas. So it's 50 milliliters of Advocar. It's very thick. It's like milk. This is also why I did this last. That's now unusable for anything else. I don't know how much lemonade you do. I just kind of do until I I feel good about it. Good, that's not flat. And the glug, 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 glug. It goes all fizzy. Stop. Oh, I've been handed some information off screen. Eggnog came from the UK! Didn't know that. Ah, variants with alcohol. Okay, so eggnog is this, but without the alcohol, whatever alcohol is in it. But this, lads and lasses, is a snowball. It is very foamy. I have not done this very well. Uh, no, I have. It's fine. It's not as foamy as I think. Chin chin. I don't even need to dispute. This is why I ended with this one. It's so good. I don't want to share this one with the people off screen. I want to drink it all myself. It's very, very nice. It's a creamy, snowbally snowball. So today we made a gingerbread martini, which I believe I put a bit too much hazelnut in because it tastes a little bit more hazelnutty to me than anything else, maybe more ginger needed. A peppermint mojito, which weird is a very good word to describe it, just tasted like you'd left your toothbrush in an alcoholic drink and then decided to still drink it. And the best Christmas cocktail of all, the snowball. Simple, classic, 
does need some ice, but still very good without. If you have a favorite Christmas cocktail or a Christmassy drink that you always go to this time of year, please do let me know down in the coffee pot below. I'd love to know what's kind of your drink of choice this time of year. Also, Merry Christmas Eve. We have one more video of festivity coming for you tomorrow. If you've been enjoying these Christmas videos, please go give them all a like. It really does help me and the channel in the YouTube algorithm of algorithms, which no one understands, but we all seem to partake in nonetheless. And also, if you want to see the last Christmas video, make sure to ring the bell and hit subscribe so you get notified as soon as that goes live. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast, as always. If you enjoyed this video, go show the like button some festive cocktail alcoholic love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all. I was gonna get drunk. You're all wrong and I'm still not sharing my snowball. <laughs>